Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. Now, this episode is going to probably be pretty darn short. I just want to cover something that I thought was kind of interesting, so I really don't expect this to be more than a couple minutes long and maybe a little bit different, but perhaps fun for you. So I was on Twitter and I saw a recent tweet from Arvid Gertzman who uh, said that he had posted a list of all of the CPU microarchitectures and when they had an extended instruction sets added to them. Now, it goes back approximately to 2007 and covers things like SSE and uh, VT and AVX and some of the things that are related AES to encryption kind of instructions. And then I saw, as I was scrolling through this, an instruction set that I had never heard of before, and that is the ABM instruction set. That was here in the Bobcat from a and So I thought I would look that up. And according to Wikipedia, ABM is the Advanced Bit Manipulation Instruction Set. And it has pop count, which you may have seen in Matt Gottbolt's CppCon 2017 um, keynote where he shows that the compiler is able to convert a count of the number of bits that are set into a single pop count instruction in some cases. But I noticed down here that there's the BMI, that's the bit manipulation instruction set 1 and the BMI 2. And these look like things that you could kind of directly convert into C++. I mean, this is just X bitwise with the negation of itself. And this apparently extracts the lowest set isolated bit and should be the BLSI instruction, a single instruction. Now, we've got these other ones that are like rotate right without affecting flags, and that's not something that we can directly translate into C++ quite as easily. But then we also have a couple of these other things that are like parallel bit deposit and extract the PDEP and PEXT, and then all of these, the set lowest clear bit and fill from lowest set bit, and um, yeah, the mask from lowest clear bit kind of instructions. So I thought I'd give these a try and see what the compiler could do. So I'm here on the Compiler Explorer, and for those of you who don't know that yet, this is gcc.godbolt.org, or just godbolt.org at this point. And I have all of these tests that are directly related to the instructions that are listed on the Wikipedia page for bit manipulation. I've got AND N, the bit extract, BLSI, BLS mask, BLSR, BLC fill, BLCI, BLC mask, BLCS, and they're named after the specific instructions that I expect them to translate into. And I have here GCC trunk, Clang trunk, and a recent version of Visual Studio's compiler. Now for all of these, I had to do something to specifically set the architecture. And hopefully you can see here on GCC and Clang, I have dash M arc equals native. And on Visual Studio, I have slash arc colon AVX2 to tell it to use the advanced instruction sets. Now I'm going to zoom this a little bit more. And we can scroll through each of them and kind of do a head to head comparison as to what the compilers are able to do with them. Now, for the most part, I, uh, my and n, that works across GCC and Clang. And now, interestingly, the instruction symbols are not in the exact same order in Visual Studio as they are in the uh, source code. But Visual Studio is able to do the same thing. Bit extract, I don't get that specific instruction from any of them, but I do get something that looks plausibly more performant, if you will, from Clang by using this BZ high instruction that the other two are not. The BLSI, 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 all three of the compilers are able to take advantage of that. BLS mask, all three are able to do BLSR, all three. And then when we start to get in this BLC fill and these more recently added instructions, BLC fill, BLC I, BLC mask, BLCS, BLSIC, and the parallel bit deposit 
I was not able to get any of the compilers to actually emit these instructions yet. So it seems that the compilers are still working their way towards support for the latest and greatest instruction sets, but it is clear that they're all pretty much on even footing when it comes to taking advantage of these um, high-level bit manipulation instructions that were added relatively recently. And as I mentioned, I did have to do this mark equals native. And if I were to get rid of this, and so it's you know assuming some least common denominator here, it's not using any of these instructions, even though they were added as far back as 2007. So if you really do care about the performance of your code, you probably want to make sure that you are taking advantage of the specific architecture that you are compiling for and deploying to. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and check out the other videos that I have.